Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LEDs.com. Today we're here with the 2004 to 2008 Ford F150 and we're going to be showing you how to install the Gen 2 F150 Raptor Grill Kit. Okay, this kit consists of three units. Each unit has 15 extreme amber LEDs. They look fantastic. They really kind of give the truck an aggressive look and they also make you easier to see at night, making you and your family safer. The install is extremely easy. There's no complicated bracket that you have to install that forces you into a certain location. You can bring these lights uh, further out or further closer based on your preference, and the install is extremely quick and easy. It's only gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes. The Gen 2 Raptor kit is IP68 weatherproof, meaning you don't have to worry about inclement weather uh, like rain, snow, storms, going through the car wash, you don't have to worry about that affecting the lights. These lights are also very versatile, meaning that they will install on any grill pattern regardless of the OEM trim level or if you have an aftermarket grill installed. The installation is extremely easy and we're going to show you how it's done right now. Okay, the first thing that we're going to want to do is uh, decide where you want your lights mounted. Okay, we're going to put one here in the center and then we're going to go, you know, three or four inches uh, out to both sides. So once you decide that, um, go ahead and run your IP68 connector through the grill, like so. And just leave your light hanging. And we'll go ahead and grab our other three lights, other two lights. And we're going to come out about four inches here. You can go as wide or narrow as you want. That's one of the great things about the versatility of this Raptor kit, Raptor grill kit. Let it hang there. Grab our third IP68 connector and light and match it up. Okay, so now that we've got our lights run through the grill, what we can do is grab our uh, included a cleaning pad and uh, what you, you want to make sure that this grill is clean from the get-go if it's too dirty clean it with um, something else you want this to be your last step the surface adhesion wipe get each of your sections real well now that we've got clean surface areas what we want to do is remove this red protective layer from the 3m adhesive this adhesive is extremely strong it's built for automotive automotive uh, purposes uh, once it cures for about 24 hours, you're fine to take it through car washes, through any kind of weather. It's going to be extremely strong. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and focus or position it. We're right here in the center. We're not going to push real hard, but just enough to get it to stick. Uh, once we have all three lights exactly where we want them, that's when we'll apply full pressure. Let's go ahead and connect your IP68 connectors. Like so. To connect our Raptor harness here to the truck, what we're going to use is our side marker light here in the headlight. So we're going to need to pull the headlight out to gain access to that side marker light. And then we're going to use our easy red quick tab connectors to tap this harness into the side marker harness. Using the quick tab connector is extremely easy. What you want to do is take the wire on the truck's harness, the side marker light, and slide this outside channel over the wire, okay? So pretend this is uh, part of the truck's harness. You basically will run, uh, slide your red tab here right through it so that the wire will enter the channel fully. And then you'll take the Raptor harness here and run the uh, red wire or the black, depending on which one, or ground, depending on which one you're connecting, through this open side on the uh, inner side of this. And by applying pressure down on this metal tab, you will make a solid connection between the two wires. So gaining access to this side marker light is very easy, but we do have to remove this headlight. To do that, remove this uh, Phillips head screwdriver here so that you can open up this uh, rubber guard here. We've already done this for the sake of the video. And there's also three bolts that you need to remove. There's two located here on the sides of the unit and one here on the top. Again, we've already removed that for the speed of the video. And then there's just a pull-up tab here. You can pull that up, uh, loosen it from the frame of the truck, and then pull directly out. And the headlight will pop directly out of the truck's frame. And then we've already connected our Raptor grill light kit, but we just wanted to show you what it looked like. So this is our um, side marker light. It's got our MK2 bulb already installed. And as you can see, we've got our quick 
tab connectors. Uh, one side is the ground and the other side is for the power. It was very easy to do. If you've got a lot of black tape on your wire, you can uh, use some scissors or uh, carefully use an exacto knife to trim that back. Okay, it's extremely easy to do. Uh, once you make these connections, you want to go cut the lights on and make sure that your rafter lights are activating. If for whatever reason your lights are not working, this is probably the point that you want to come check. You want to make sure that these wires are firmly connected. Okay, so we've tested our lights. So now all that we need to do is reinstall our bulb and our headlight unit and our installation of the Gen 2 Raptor Kit will be done. So installing the Gen 2 Raptor Kit is that easy. They look fantastic. They're extremely bright. They've got IP68 weatherproofing, plus they're going to fit regardless of what grill pattern you have. You can check them out at f150leds.com. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with all of the latest and greatest products for your Ford F-150. We look forward to seeing you at f150leds.com. Thanks guys.